Welcome to the channel everybody, this is Hardware Despair, my name is Ryan and today we are playing Change, a homeless survival experience as you can see right here at the menu screen. So uh, let's jump into it, I've uh, practiced a little bit but I think it's ready to start a new run. Let's see what we've got, we're going to jump into, the only one we have available right now is the background poverty, can't do veteran, addict, these things require, I guess we could, oh we could do veteran. Um, that one no okay so i guess with my first run i was able to qualify for a veteran status but let's start off with the poverty this is the basic one that you have first available so uh let's jump into it now all right loading up and this is a very challenging game actually it starts off a little deceptive and what seems like simplistic but uh it is quite challenging. All right, I never thought this could happen, and I had it all planned out. Then, out of nowhere, the company I worked for went bankrupt. I couldn't get a new job in time, and so, so I suppose this is it now. All right, homeless life. There's a little bit of it, like, the definitely there's a, there's a feeling of depression, <laughs> but it's still a very fun and enjoyable game. Uh, the gameplay itself is really addictive. All right, survive the streets, find a food and a shelter, get a job, rent a home. See, so we're supposed to, you know, pull ourselves up here, get get back on our feet. That's the whole goal here, this game. So overall, I think it's got a very positive message. Anyway, change is predominantly a roguelike experience about escaping to a new life. Each playthrough will be different, and every failure leads to unlocking more things in your next run. So that's fairly exciting. We might have the potential for multiple videos here if you guys like it let me know down in the comments what you think once we're all done anyway let's jump into it uh here's the city oh and here's the streets so we've got our character right in front another homeless man right back in the back there hanging out we got a bunch of people now what <laughs> We can, uh, we can come up here and talk to him. He's got some tutorial stuff that he'll tell us. It's not like a very long tutorial. He just gives us a list. I'll just go through it. Tutorial, first you need to shops are the best place to get food. Uh, then there's shelters. That's where you're going to want to sleep at night. We'll go through all these two here shortly and the mechanics of it. Uh, vacancies, this is where you'll get uh, established and stuff, finding a job. Uh, and uh, also stay warm. Because the seasons will change. Uh, there's techniques for that. And finally, the police. The police will come and get you if they catch you begging. So we'll find that out. All right. That's it. Yep. We got to check our bag. So inventory is up here. You can also use the I button to access that. There's not a lot of hotkeys. That's basically the only one. There's no map or anything. It's, uh, as far as I can tell, it's just like a loop here. The city block. You just loop it so we can pick a direction. Uh, we can also stand here and beg. Excuse me, sir. Oh, look, the first guy we beg for gives us a little bit of change. Now, I'm going to call it dollars, but uh, it's obviously pounds here. <laughs> but I'm going to refer to it as dollars. You better believe it. So, 591, no uh, no chauvinism there. It's just, uh, yeah, I can't remember that. But anyway, we've stepped inside of a shelter now. So, this is an interesting thing. Let's go back out real quick. I'll show you. So, you can see here at the background, we've got a shelter. So, if we push on it. We can go inside and look at the details here. Time kind of freezes while we're in here, but uh, time will persistently move out there. Days go pretty quick, too. you got to watch it. Be careful. But uh, this is a government-owned. Curfew is 645. That's pretty critical. So if we want to stay at this shelter, then we can't get in here after this time. And that will be that means we're sleeping on the streets, which we don't really want to do. We want to try and avoid that. So, yeah, we can't stay here yet because it's way too early. That's what this is telling us. But uh, we can also stay set this as a residence which is important if we want to get like a library card we need a residence and there's other stuff so there's basically a whole checklist for paperwork that you're going to fill out for certain tasks but uh, residence is pretty key so what i'm going to do is say yes we're going to try and make this there's uh uh this will be our shelter it's actually got extra welfare so charity that's nice that's nice and staying here will also restore our hunger and happiness if we rest here so that's nice now we're going to leave but i'm going to try and stick close to this general area so i don't have to take the bus back here which of course costs a little bit of money so we'll see hello no let's check out this shop here so they sell fish and chips Ooh, that's pretty pricey but i bet you yeah 100 percent hunger 
that's huge, but it also is pretty messy. <laughs> so we get the oil and vinegar all over our hands, it makes us less hygienic, which uh, we'll have to take care of. Cigarettes are really great for uh, trading as well as happiness. So that's one thing I noticed in my previous playthrough. Oh, and the shawl. Yeah, increase cash for begging for each malady you have. Oh, man. Okay, so let's go back and check out the uh, screen here. You can see we've got different tabs on the left. Perks, we'll, we'll get these as we like beg and level up. We'll, we'll get new perks to choose from. That's where these will appear. Then, of course, you got the city events, like if inflation goes up and prices get more expensive, it'll show it here. Uh, jobs, I haven't actually ever gotten to the point where I got a job, but uh, I assume this is where job stuff will go. Maladies are very important. You'll get these if you, if you leave your guy to starve for too long, or, you know, there's all kinds of different stuff I found that can cause maladies. Some actually can have some benefits as well as downsides. For instance, people will give you more money if you look really sickly and stuff, you know, if you're successful on begging from them. So anyway, in the middle here, you can see we've got a study level. This is kind of our stats here. Then we've got paperwork. As I mentioned, there's a whole series of paperwork items, you know, that you want to build up if you want more and more advanced stuff. Like you need a residence is you're pretty basic, then a bank, a job, a library card, how many days you worked, do you have a bad, good record, bad record. So, and of course, here's the crime, almost like a Grand Theft Auto, we have a crime level. And this little indication where it's like a purple city block there, this is our reputation with other homeless people. So anyway, let's jump back. Oh, no, I don't want to quit. I want to resume. Let's jump back in here and do a little begging. So we just got to watch out. Make sure there's no police around when we're trying to actively beg here from people. And sometimes they'll slow you down. They'll want to talk to you. Sometimes they'll want to ask you, what are you going to use it for? This or that. Not all the time. But um, also while I'm doing this, I'm going to pick up refuse. Picking it up. And that's going to allow me to find a recycler at some point. When we do, we can sell that refuse. I just want to see what this guy's selling. Oh, sausage roll. That's actually super good food. Pest repellent. Ah, oh, guitar for earning extra cash. That's awesome. And a juice. Hmm, restores one happiness. Hmm, it's kind of pricey, honestly, for one happiness. Anyway, let's keep begging, looking around. No police nearby. Okay, let's get our hand out. Hello. Oh, look, we just leveled up. Well, it's uh, we got a new perk. So begging earner, gain one a happiness boost if you earn at least $7 in a day. That's tough. When offered food, small chance of also getting change. And silver chong, increased cash. Been begging during rush hour. Yeah, we'll do that. That's actually kind of cool. Because rush hour is a great day to beg, obviously. All right. Oh, see, here we go. So they want to know, what should we... I really, really need it or I need to eat. I'm going to select eating. Uh, he was generous. He gave us a little bit of change. So we do actually... We are kind of low on our food. It's just went down again. So let's eat one of those sausage rolls. They're the only one I bought. Actually, I want to grab another one of those real quick. Yeah, that's a super good deal. I'm going to buy two of those. That's another item I've actually seen up for trade before. So for certain stuff. All right. So he says we have new stock every day. I was just thinking, I wonder if it changes from the area. See, in my previous playthrough, I was caught begging so many times that the police moved me to a different area. So I think it kind of resets everything when that happens. Like, obviously, your shelter residence gets lost, I assume. So I didn't actually get to stay at a shelter long enough for that. We've got this cop over here, so I can't beg when he's there and on the screen. I'm going to kind of wait for him to pass, grab some of this stuff. Let's check out this uh, vending machine here. Oh, soda. So this restores two happiness if not hungry and drains 15% hunger. Um... I'm sure that's actually good for happiness. It's probably better than drugs and stuff, but I'm not going to buy any right now. Okay, so we've collected four pieces of recycling stuff. We can uh, collect our money there, 28 cents. It seems a little, but it all adds up, trust me, and we're going to pick up a ton of this stuff. Now, here's another homeless guy. Let's talk to him. Sorry, he's busy right now. Okay, we'll come back. Oops, I didn't mean to go into the police station. You can turn yourself in and stuff, apparently, if you have a high enough pr criminal record. I haven't gotten that high, but it's what it says when you enter. Just going to beg from all... Oh, Canty's in a rush, darn it. Let's try this dude right here. I'm trying to keep a close eye on the time because we've got to get back to our shelter. I do want to establish residence in the shelter. So let's get back there. I'm just going to avoid begging, although it's very tempting. And I'm going to pick, pick up stuff if I see it. All right. Oh, here's the shelter right here. 
All right, see, okay, we just made it. Look at that. We made it by one minute, literally. <laughs> okay, so we're going to rest here. So this stays until residency five. So this will knock a day off. Um, we get extra food. So our food level, it's good that it's low because we'll get fed here. Let's do it. All right, now we're going to probably have an event pop up. So let's read what happens. Another day is over. Uh, you enter the shelter for the first time. Oh, it made us sad. Anxiety whirls in your mind, yada, yada. You try to find a bed as quickly as you can, aware of all the eyes following you. There's no privacy. It's difficult to shake the feeling. So overall, it wasn't a terrible night. I mean, we, we rested indoors, but he is a little bit more sad after sleeping there. Not terribly. He's still at 93, so 100 is the max, obviously. Gets down to zero. You'll start getting maladies and stuff. A rat has found its... Oh, you got to be kidding. It probably ate a sausage roll from us. Well, let's go ahead and munch the last one before uh, Mickey the Mouse gets it. All right, so we went left last time. We've got $3.63. That's pretty low. That's not a lot. Let's start begging. <gasps> Are you going to give me some? Thank you. Let's ask the little old lady. I need a little change here, please. No? How about this gentleman? Sir? Sir? Hello? And you can try multiple times. There are perks for that. Like, will you get, like... If you're more persistent, but hey. oh, thanks, man. All right, Sometimes, I've even gotten like as high as three dollars and stuff before. Oh, we're having some luck now. Oh, here we go. When you receive an item from a begging, small chance to get extra increased happiness gains from successful beggings. When happiness is less than 50, gratified, no happiness gains from begging, but always get a bonus happiness. Oh, I'll do that one. All right. Some of them are pretty straightforward. Some of them you gotta like kind of think about, oh, is this gonna be worth it? Bottle water, that's actually handy. I'm gonna hold off on it. It's good to know it's here though. Let's jump duck inside and get our extra recycling monies. And let's do a little begging out here. No police around, so we can ask some of these folks. Sorry, nothing there. Oh darn. It's also wet and rainy, so he doesn't like that. That's gonna decrease his happiness for sure. Oh, there's a go there goes a doggo. But uh, if we can do something like duck inside a laundry, we could wash our clothes for a couple hours and that would definitely like wait out the rain, for instance. But, you know, we're kind of low on cash, $6.77. That's not a lot. So um, I'm just going to leave. I've never done a premium cost. I don't know. Hey, Mr. Officer, how you doing, sir? Let's uh, we can go through the trash while he's around. That's not a big deal. You won't care about that. We can pick up recycling, but do not talk to or try and beg from people when they, he's on the screen. He'll give you a warning the first couple times, but eventually they will like move you. So now this is a different shelter. Yeah, this is not our residence. No heating here. Ooh, our shelter is a lot nicer. The only thing about this shelter, it's got a later curfew on it. So now I'll tell you that 9 p.m. Whenever the world clock hits 9 p.m., it's going to restart the day no matter where you're at. Even if you're not in a shelter. If you're on the streets, then you're just going to be sleeping on the streets that night. So that's kind of how it works. I'm going to try and avoid that. But when I first started and I was learning it, I did that several times. Like, I could never get to a shelter in time. <laughs> but now I know you don't want to get too far from your original starting location like exploring is important and you are going to want to do that but you also need to utilize like the bus if you're going to be exploring a lot now once we've established our residency it's probably not going to be so bad oh look at that okay just a uh, water fountain right there i can go ahead and wash a little bit it just takes a little bit of time it's free but we got a little perk because of it here so other homeless will accept you more easily that's probably huge more choices for future perks. Oh, wait a second. No, it's, we've got to go with that one. Yeah, I've learned uh, my lesson before on that kind of thing. That's what you go with. All right, let's see here. Hello? Anything? Hello? So this was original spawn right here. If you remember, this is the tutorial guy. Oh, look, we're hungry. Hold on. Yeah, we don't have anything. Let's spend some of our hard-earned money. <laughs> uh, go inside. Um... Is he the sausage roll guy? I think he is, but we'll buy the energy bar. I'm actually going to buy a couple of those. Not the beer. Now, the beer is interesting. It will restore a lot of happiness, but you're going to smell like booze. And you go around begging after you've just had a beer, people are going to notice it. It's interesting. But uh, so it definitely decreases your chances of getting cash. Oh, I should probably eat those. I'm just going to eat one to tide us over. I want to check these other shops for something a little bit more substantial than like granola bar, energy bar, what that was. I'm hungry here, bud. Thank you, sir. You got a really nice suit there. One day we're going to get back on our feet just like you. 
All right. Let's get in here. Oh, nice. This is the guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know there's a water fountain nearby, so I'm going to splurge, get the fish and chips. This is going to 100% us here. Mm, it's late in the day, but I'm going to go ahead and eat it. Yeah, that's pretty huge. Now, let's see here. Any police around? No. Hello. Hello. Spare change? Mm, no. Mm, she thought about it, but she changed her mind. A lot of people here. Rush hour right now. Remember, we do have that perk for rush hour. Choice responses are more successful. Nice. So that's whenever they ask us, what do you want this for? Food or what? Or clothes? Increased chance of happiness from kindness. Eh. Beggar slightly increased begging. That, wow. Okay, that's huge right there. Just a base increased chance overall. Yeah, we want that. All right, now I've got... I've got a meal waiting for me at the shelter, too, so we don't want to get too far. It's evening. Let's see. What's the curfew here? Yeah, I'm really trying to set this as my residency because I want to be able to go into the library and stuff and get a library card. That's something I hadn't done in my previous playthrough, so that's kind of my little short-term goal here. All right, insulation expert. Uh, let's see here. Small chance of starting the day already warmed when sleeping outdoors. Discipline takes less time to recover from addictions. Warmer. Staying warm for a whole day in winter increases happiness. Explore. Increase walk speed if your hunger is over 80. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to go for that. I like that. Okay, so, yep, soup kitchen. Very nice. 645. Be cutting it close. Um, yeah, that's such an early curfew. That's kind of what the downside that this one is, but this place has extra welfare. So <laughs> let's go ahead and do it. See what kind of event we get here. Like I said, um, my goal is residency. Number one. All right. If you sleep, you dream of days when you were just like everyone else, a job, home, friends, it all seemed far away. But you wake up, oh, just another depression. Sometimes like really elaborate events will happen. You'll have choices. Like, do you get up and defend this person or, you know, do you just stay into your cot? But so far we got pretty mild stuff to start with. All right. Um, you filled your uh, belly at the soup kitchen. Very nice. Let's, uh, let's see. Some people around here playing on their uh, card or on their phones, I mean. Let's see here. A bottle of water. Okay, sorry about that. That music was getting a little bit loud there. It's nice. I like it. It's got a very somber, atmospheric effect, but it was just a little bit overpowering, so I just turned that down with the options menu. All right, let's see here. Let's do a little begging. Hello there. Any change, please? Hello. No? Okay. Let's check the uh, machine. Still water. Um, actually, I might buy that. We'll get one of those. The hygiene's really nice to have that. There's other items that increase hygiene. Hey, here's another homeless guy. So now you're not the only one who's down. We can give him a dollar, which is, sounds weird. And I'm super low right now, so I'm not going to. In the future, I probably will. I think it's uh, just good karma. It increases your community, you know? So we're going to do that in the future. Real quick, I'm going to hit up this... Uh... Yeah, I'm going to wash myself. Got a little dirty from that meal of fish and chips we had yesterday. <laughs> That's still all over us. Uh, so we're just kind of begging as we go. There's no police here. It's rush hour. So that means we're going to get a bonus, If I think, to our opportunity. Is that what it was? Let's see. What's our perks? Rush hour, gratified. Beggar, slightly increased success rate. Okay, increase cash from begging during rush hour. So any success we have, we should get a little bit more money from it. So I'm going to really push that right now. Oh, here we go. Oh, thank you very much, sir. I love your green green sweater. Looks great. All right. Oh, we just got... See, it does actually like affect its happiness negatively to stand out here and panhandle like this. But um, you can get perks that will reduce that, too. So as he does it, it's like even if he's successful, he's not necessarily going to be happy about it. Oh, okay, here we go. Size up. Sometimes you can see when people... Oh, that's actually a big one. Increase cash from begging when happiness or hunger or hygiene is... Uh, martyr. Slightly increase begging since that's the more <laughs> chance for each malady you have. Wow. Beguiler. Okay. I like this one. Straight up. Here we go. All right, we still got plenty of time today. I don't want to do too much exploring unless we take a bus or something. Um, our money's definitely getting up there, which is great. Let's see here. Uh, hygiene's okay. Food is not so great. Let me check our bag real quick. Yeah, all we've got is this thing. We'll eat that, and we'll head over here to the shops. Let's see. Hello, anything? 
We're also looking for more garbage, of course. Let's go. Now, there's also criminal options, too. You can steal. Um, I don't know if any of you guys caught that when we went inside one of these shops here. Let me check this real quick. Oh, boy. 14 cents. All right. Uh, if we go inside the shop, we'll take a look. And there's other options, too, to steal. You can break into cars. Uh, if you see them parked on the side of the road, that guy just yelled at me, get a job. Thanks, buddy. All right. Ooh, apples. Uh, I'm going to buy, like, five of these. Maybe not five, but I'm going to buy that many. <laughs> Let's see. Kerchief. Um, chance of no crime increase when caught by police. See, it says steal 7%. Cigarettes, 12 happiness. How much are these? Three fifty nine. I'm actually going to buy a pack of that, too, for trading purposes. I probably won't use it, but... Mm, this is okay, but there's like it's fairly easy to get hygiene without buying stuff. Like, you know, we got a water fountain right next to our shelter, so that's the best option. But uh, so we're gonna leave that. And of course, I don't want to waste too much money. We could still use some better food than these apples here, but I'm gonna eat one. Helps our happiness a little bit. Let's see here, got any? Oh crap! Okay, so I just begged in front of the police officer. He's giving me a warning, okay? When we do that too much, we'll get like a police uh, siren up here. We'll show up next to our little coffee symbol, if we had one still. And uh, yeah, we want to avoid that. Let's go into this shop. Let's just see. Yeah, I'm going to buy this. It leaves us with literally four cents. So let's get out of here. Uh, I'm going to pick up some recycling. The cop is still right there, so I'm not begging. Just waiting. All right, he's off screen, so now we can beg. Hello. Can you help me, sir? Hello, ma'am. You're walking awfully fast. Uh, oh, she stopped for us. What she got? A dollar thirty-nine. That was pretty huge. All right. Oh, it's almost six o'clock. Let's get home. We gotta get home. Now, I'm purposely not eating right now because I know our shelter is gonna hook us up with some food. So we'll be good in the morning. We'll save that food that we've got in our bag. Yeah, I don't fairly certain it doesn't like expire or go bad or anything. So we should be okay. Let's see here. Another day. So we're like, what, three three days into our residency? Let me check that out. Oh, okay, we've got an option here. Another day is over. The shelter is fairly empty. It's normal around summertime. Some of the others don't trust any kind of system. And some will only take a chance on trusting others if they have to. Shelters included. These are people who have been chewed and spit out by the world after all. Why would they won't trust anyone? Yet despite this, the guy in the opposite bunk rolls and talks to you. Hey... Can we talk? Sure, man, we can talk. Oh, okay, we got a little street cred and some happiness from that. There you go. Talking, let see, talking doesn't cost a thing. Conversation, that's always nice. Okay, so you guys can read that yourselves there, but we do get a happiness and a reputation increase. Very cool. Okay, um, a perk. Bench warmer, greatly reduced hunger decay when using benches. Um, there's Yeah, that's another mechanic, too. You can use benches. We'll try that in the future. Other homeless will help you more often. Ooh. Other homeless will accept you. Shelter. Increased hunger recoveries in shelter. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's tough. I'm going to do shelter since we are becoming such, like, yeah, shelter bugs here. So we've got two more days on that. That's awesome. All right, so let's see here. We're low on money. Let's do a little beggarinos. Our food's pretty low, too. That really didn't... Oh, capo. Sorry, officer. How are you doing today? Um, yeah, that shelter didn't really increase it as much as I had hoped, but uh, we'll go ahead and bust out our little fish taco or fish and chips here. Yep. Now we'll go over to the water fountain, clean ourselves up. Got to do a little begging. 8 a.m. It's pretty dark out here for being in the morning. There we go. Get nice and cleaned up before the rush hour starts. Perfect. Now we'll be a little bit more presentable when we uh, start begging here. But we'll just pick this little piece of street here and just start begging. Come on, let's ask this guy twice. See if our persistent... Oh, cop. Whew, I'm glad I noticed that. Sir, you're walking awfully fast. Oh, he's late for work. Well, that makes sense. Any spare change there, madam? Oh, no, we had a question here. I needed to get home. Please, I'm sorry, I need this. I don't feel right about lying. Ah, oh, she doesn't believe me, though. It's, uh, it's her right. It's her chain. She can keep it. No hard feelings, ma'am. All right, please, I'm so hungry. No, not much luck. Oh, oh, no, we just got caught again. Dude was, like, literally on the side of the screen. All right, sorry, officer. We're just, we're moving along. Checking this trash can here. You will get food from the trash, and it'll, sometimes it'll ask you, like, are you sure you want to eat this? 
because it might be questionable, but there's also perks for that. Okay, pitiful, you sure was a small chance to get extra increased chance of happiness from kindness. We might go for that. Oh, emotional wall. Well kept. Low hygiene has less effect on begging success chance. Not bad, actually. Um, oh, this is tough. I'm going for emotional wall, though. Because, like, our hygiene we can control directly with, like, cleaning and stuff. But, like, your emotion's kind of hard unless you're taking drugs and stuff. Which I don't think is necessarily the most advisable thing to do. <laughs> uh, but there are drugs available. There's one called Bliss. It's like a little pink pill you can buy for six bucks a pill. Oh, man. Okay. We're, we're making a little bit of money. We'll probably have enough to feed ourselves. But we are getting very hungry. Let's check a couple shops over here to the left. See if we can't get another thing of fish and chips for the night. Oh, man. People are pretty stingy today. It's all right. It happens. Oh, hey, thanks, sir. Oh, my gosh, she just gave us two and a quarter. All right, there's our shelter. Let's check this area here. There's also other areas like parks and stuff. I should get, to get into those at some point. I'll try and find a bus stop tomorrow. Oh, look, he's got something new. That's huge, just straight up. I love that. Oh, now this is interesting, deodorant. So you can get full hygiene for two straight days, regardless of what you do, like digging in trash and stuff. I assume maybe even drinking, but I don't know. That's pretty cool. Ooh, we should save up for that guitar at some point. You know what, hold on. I want to buy a second one of these. And a third. Yep, that's what we should be spending our money on anyway, is some food. Not cigarettes. <clears throat> Alright, I'll also eat an apple for the happiness and the little bit of food it gives me. Very good. And let's panhandle. <laughs> what do we got? What do we got? Hello. There's just so many people here, it's hard to resist. Oh, now we've got brain drain, too. That's a, an effect that happens if you don't um, read enough at a local library. There's a police officer right there, so we can't beg in there. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so that's one of the reasons I'm going for the library card is so that we can actually avoid that and we can go study and studying is another kind of paperwork thing like yeah i guess maybe you get diplomas i'm not 100 percent sure but you can at least um is this ours oh no it's not wait where's the ours at oh crud oh crud i left i lost it so anyway studying is good though study is good so I went too far, and I've, here's our thing. Oh, here it is, here it is. No, we missed the curfew. We can't stay here. It won't let me stay. Darn it. So I don't know if that's going to affect our residency that much. Let's try and stay at that other one, because I didn't notice the curfew on it. But let's just see if we can get there in time. It's not too far. It was just like right here. Yeah, there it is. Let's see what it is. Maybe it won't kill us. Just to rest here. I'm not going to set it as my residency, but we'll see what happens. Oh, he's not happy about it. I get it, bud. I get it. Oh, we got a new perk, though. All right. So, strong legs, bag. Ooh, that's actually a big one. Like snow and stuff. We haven't encountered winter yet, but yeah, that's a big one. Reduced hunger decay from walking a lot. And these are all good. Moderate increased walk speed. Again, just like those base increases overall, it's hard to resist. Like it's not situational at all. Ooh, you know, I should be picking this stuff up as we go. But I want to get back to the shelter real quick. And just check and see how that worked. Oh, so it did set us back a couple of days on our residency. So you don't want to mess with that. You want to try and, like I said, if your goal is to get a residency, which is kind of what progression is based on, yeah, you're going to want to do that. Anyway, man, I feel like we have just scratched the surface with this game. There is literally so much more to do. I could spend hours playing it, too. And uh, just uh, on this first guy without getting into the veteran or any of the other backgrounds. So it's a pretty sweet little roguelike. Let me know what you guys think of this down in the comments. Should I make more episodes? Hit like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Check the description down there for Discord or the Patreon links. And I will see you guys on the next episode. Hey everybody, thanks for watching, and now check out this fan art by a couple of my Discord members, Finn and Vita. It's pretty good, and I love the cuttlefish.